right guys, so I am sitting here with Scott Kenny from Retro Expo. So Scott, can you tell us a little bit about the guests that's gonna be there? Yeah, we have a great lineup of guests. Uh, our philosophy on our guests is we try to bring in like old school, like 80s, 90s, 70s TV show and movie stars. So this time we have uh, stars from Back to the Future, uh, we have stars from Land of the Lost, the, the old uh, TV show um, with you know, Slee Stacks and Chaka, you remember that show. Um, we've got some stars from Ninja Turtles, uh, Dirk Benedict from A-Team and Battlestar Galactica is going to be there. Uh, Jason David Frank, who's a big fat fan favorite, um, oh, yeah. he's very popular, uh, from uh, P Power Rangers, the Green Ranger, Tommy. Um, so the, the stars we have from uh, Back to the Future, we have Harry Waters Jr., who is uh, Marvin Gaye's uh, cousin. I think I'm most excited about Harry Waters. That, that would just be, he would be super cool just to me. Yeah, because I saw that and I was like, wow. Yeah, he plays, uh, I think, Marvin Bear. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. your cousin, Marvin sure, Bear. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dom Full of Love, who is uh, Mayor Goldie, of course. Mm -hmm. Uh, Claudia Wells is Jennifer um, in the movie, um, Marty's Girlfriend. Now, uh, she was from the first one or the second She's one? in the first movie. First one, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, and I think Harry and Donald have roles uh, in the follow-up movies, like, you know, because they keep going back mm -hmm. and doing all the alternate yep. you know, angles and stuff, and so they, they reprise. Um, and then the Ken Scott, who's Raphael, is going to be there. He's in uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, mm -hmm. Secret of the Ooze. And he's in the first movie, too, as a, like a foot soldier. Okay, that's and, right. Yeah. And he does like a bunch of stunts, and you know, okay. he's a martial artist. Cool guy. He wrote a book. He's local, right? Um, I think he might. Oh, yeah, that's right. Dallas. Yeah, yeah, I think he's from Dallas, or lives in Dallas. Yeah. I just learned about that like last week. I was like, holy crap, he lives here. Because yeah. I'm a big turtle nut, so... Um, so let's talk about vendors. What, how many vendors are we talking at this event? And um, yeah, what kind of stuff? We have a big dealer's room there. This, it's like, we the show, uh, just the back up just a tiny little bit is, I started doing collector shows called Retromania um, in Texas, uh, like New Braunfels and Dripping Springs, you guys might have been to one. And my focus is on the stuff, because I'm a collector, I'm a toy collector. Um, I'm like a 70s, 80s guy, I love Star Wars, I love anything like space toys, Shogun Warriors, I'm big into that. Um, and so I, I wanted to go back to a con that was more about the stuff. Because mm -hmm. I, I, you know, when I, when I pay, you know, you go to a con, you pay $40, $50 to get in the door and anymore, it's not the kind of stuff I'm buying. It's, Absolutely. I love, you know, I'm into anybody who collects anything. I don't, I don't care what it is. I'm just talking about myself. I'm being selfish here. Yep, yep. I'm trying to make a show for me. <laughs> for me, <laughs> what I would want. So I want a, a killer room. So it, we have like 35,000 square feet there, um, and we pack the dealer's room. It's got, I think we have over 70 dealers. Whoa. And we have uh, an emphasis on vintage and retro. We have a lot of guys that bring in vintage stuff, but we have new stuff too. We have we have pops, we have new comics, old comics, mm -hmm. new action figures, custom action figures. Um, you know, just uh, we have a guy that sells vinyl records. Oh, nice. Yeah, we have guys that bring VHS tapes. So you know, we're just looking for weird, you know, different. Uh, of course, you got guys bringing you know Marvel Legends, Black Series, all that kind mm -hmm. of stuff, new stuff, reaction. Now, what I, what I really like about your show is um, I go to all these local toy shows in the DFW area, usually don't miss a one, but what I really like about your show, you see, we see different vendors from out of town that you never see at these other, you know, local shows. So, you know, people from San Antonio and um, I think Oklahoma, just all around that we don't see in the area and they bring some heat, some vintage heat. And uh, that always excites me. So I love seeing the dealers yeah. that y'all bring in. Yeah, we have a kind of a traveling circus philosophy with the shows. Uh, you know, me putting on shows in different cities in different states, I'll get people to follow me from show to show. Like oh. I have one coming up in Colorado, May 21 and 22 in Aurora, Colorado, That's to right. Romania. And some of the guys from Texas are going to come there, but there's going to be a ton of, you know, like local. Uh, Denver dealers, there's going to be dealers from Colorado Springs, there's going to be dealers from Pueblo, Colorado there. Mm -hmm. So I just, I try to build a reputation where dealers know they can come and they're going to get, uh, the, the key is having customers that are looking for that, that oh, kind yeah. of stuff. You know, they're, they're looking for vintage, they're looking for, you know, toys and things like that. So 
I try to bring in a diverse group of dealers. So there's a lot of shows in the DFW area. I'm aware of that. I go to them. They're fun. They're great. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times it's like the same group of guys. It is. The yeah. Month, Which so. is, like you said, it's great because you build that relationship with those dealers by getting to see other dealers from other areas and what they bring is totally different from a lot of times what we have here in the area. Yeah, it's about servicing the, the buyer. It's mm -hmm. like like giving them an experience where they go in and they're like, oh, wow, there's a lot that you've mm -hmm. here. That's, what, that's the goal. Um, so let's see, what dates are we looking at for Retro Expo? Uh, it's a Friday, Saturday show, uh, which is a little odd. We open, uh, it's a little different, but we did that for our pricing uh, structure just to, to keep the, again, another, you know, we're trying to keep the budget low, trying mm -hmm. to let, get dealers in there at a good price. Uh, and also customers. Um, so we, we open on Friday evening from 4 to 7 p.m. So that's March 18th, Friday, March 18th. And then early birds or VIPs can get in at three. So if you okay. really want, and there's a lot of people that come in early that, that line up, they're trying to get, you know, first dibs on, oh, yeah. on the good stuff, <laughs> you know, the best deals uh, or something for your collection. Chance Priest is gonna be there from Victory Comics, the, the Warriors of the Universe guy, he had, when we opened on Friday last time, he had like 20 people standing in line at his booth because he does con exclusives on his figures. So that's the, one of the advantages mm -hmm. of the VIP uh, early bird. It's just like 40 bucks at the door. General mission at the door is 12. Um, and so, and then on Saturday, you get in uh, Saturday, March 19th, those hours are gonna be regular hours, 10 to five, and then early birds can get in at nine nice. on Saturday. So is Chance bringing up any exclusives for this show? He is, he, he teased, uh, he doesn't have uh, them ready yet to show. I always post him as soon as he gives me photos on our Facebook page. Um, just Which look, is? Uh, just look up Retro Expo on Facebook, you'll find our, our event page. Um, and so he's, uh, he teased that he's, uh, because we have Dirk Benedict there, that he's going to do a Cylon of some sort. Wow. And uh, also um, a Slee Stack. Okay. Exclusive. Wow. Yeah, so how many fun. usually does he do? Like 10 to 20 or? Uh, he did, usually per show, he'll do one or two exclusives oh, that are okay. just like made for the show. Very short run. I always buy one of his short run exclusives at every show he does one for me because he just doesn't, you know, he doesn't make them exactly like that again. Mm -hmm. um, and then he'll also have some other exclusives that are from his Warriors of the Universe line. Yes. And yes, so, so yeah. I mean, people, you know, really battle over some of this stuff. So you want to get there early if you're interested. Also, I heard something about that there's going to be some sort of like book debut at the show. Yes, that's kind of fun. It's going to be first time this book is uh, going to be available to the public. Um, one of our guests who I neglected to mention is Kevin Thompson. And he played an Ewok in Return of the Jedi. He, I believe his uh, Ewok was the one that, that blew the horn. Oh, okay. <laughs> Chub Ray, I think is his name. Nice. But uh, Kevin also uh, was in the, the, um, the Ewok movies that came after Return of the Jedi. He, he played a couple different characters. He's been in movies like Blade Runner and uh, Weird Science. He was like the, the Chet. Yeah, the Chet monster, yeah. Yeah, so he, did, he was like the puppeteer for that. But he... His wife, Tracy Thompson, who's also an actress, a uh, tel television actress, uh, has written a book about his experience, uh, his, like kind of his memoir working on Return of the Jedi. And so it's gonna be available for the very, very first time at Retro Expo. They're gonna have like a deal where I think the first 100 copies come with an exclusive print by the artist who did the cover for the book. Wow. Um, so again, something you're not gonna be able to get anywhere else. There's only gonna be 100 of those prints available, uh, I think. I think the deal is if you buy the book, it comes autographed by both of them for $65 and I think it comes with the print. So you have to double check. We have that posted. We have the prices for them posted as well. I'll definitely be picking up one of those books. Yeah, me, I need to I, grab one for sure. You know, honestly, I didn't read that until you mentioned it. That's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, Scott, is there anything else that we can uh, you can share with us about this awesome event? Uh, let's see. We, we're going to have, uh, we'll have concessions on site, so we'll have food and drink available. If you come in, you can spend the day. We'll have places, you know, for you to sit down and hang out and chill. Um, 
kids 11 and under are free with paid adults. The parking is free there, so that that's uh, that's great. That's huge. Yeah, yeah don't, we, we, again, we try to keep it you know budget conscious so that you mm -hmm. can spend all your stuff on, on oh, toys. toys. <laughs> oh, toys. Exactly. All right, Scott. So one more time, what time, dates, and all that good stuff is retro? Expo going to happen. Easiest thing to do is go to retroexpo.com. It has all of that information on there, but um, it's at 2000 East Spring Creek Parkway in Plano, Texas. Our hours again are Friday 4 to 7 p.m. VIP 3 to 7 p.m. Saturday 10 to 5 VIP 9 to 5. Uh, the VIP ticket at the door is 40 bucks. General admission is 12 at the door and kids are free again, as I mentioned, in 35,000 square feet of just like fun. Oh, we also have an artist alley there. We're gonna have some artists there. Yeah. Um, so Jeremy Clark is one of our big artist stars. He worked on The, the Last Ronin, which everybody's like, oh, yeah. about that, that oh, yeah. graphic novel. I have those. Yeah, so he'll be there to sign your, your books. I'll bring my books, and you should too, and make sure that you check out Retro Expo March 18th and 19th in Plano, Texas. Scott, thank you for your time, Sam. Thank you. Appreciate All right. it. We'll see you at the show. See you there. Benefit. <laughs>